Hello and a warm welcome back to Hollywood Bets Kenilworth, the venue for upcoming race meeting this Saturday, the 31st of December 2022, the last race meeting of the year. And of course, the race season doesn't stop there. We head into the summer season still here at Cape Town. And of course, next week, it's only 10 days until the 162nd edition of the Lormorons King's Plate with plenty out on offer on the day. Please make sure to follow Lormorons King's Plate on social media, as well as Cape Racing for more information Follow the link, click the link, and you'll see all the hospitality packages out available. You don't want to miss out on the day. Great day of racing ahead. We've got 10 races carded, and of course, the feature race, Lormoran's King's Place, which sees Jet Dark, Cormenty Dunn, as well as Charles Dickens taking each other on. Will it be a hat trick of wins for Jet Dark in this year's edition? Find out on the day, and you do not want to miss this edition of the King's Place. This Saturday, though, our main focus for the preview here, we've got eight races carded, and Remember, this is not a tipping show. This is just a preview of some of the horses that I fancy on the day, and maybe you would want to structure your bets around. And there are three horses here on the card which really do catch my eye. Starting off in race number two, number eight, Shara Pover, the Mike Decock trained horse that making his second local start here in the Western Cape. Finished second on both occasions. Now with Bernard Fate overboard, dropping back in distance to 1,200 meters. I expect her to run very well here, and she'll certainly be involved in the finish. Number six, prevalence in race number five, Justin Snaith and Richard Fareed team up here. In his last start, he came from the absolute clouds, took off late into the closing stages and finished third behind stable companion Tusa Fay. It was a really, really eye-catching performance there and he certainly wanted to keep an eye out on here. He's now two kilograms better off the number eight champion warrior from that run and he certainly should be making his presence felt here and going an extra 200 meters, he certainly will be enjoying the step up in distance. Race number six, number eight, Fun Zone. This is certainly a horse that's caught my eye here today. And trained by Candace Bass Robinson to be ridden by Gareth Wright. She's been a model of consistency, nine starts for one win, as well as six placings. And one can feel that she should have had one or two extra wins by this stage. She recently ran in the World Sports Betting Cape Phillies Guineas, where she finished six and a half lengths behind Make It Snappy, who eventually went on to win the Guineas race. Make It Snappy is now a merit rated 115. And Fun Zone comes into this race only having 55 and a half kilograms to carry. I certainly think she will be making her presence felt and was certainly a horse that can show her best ability here and can notch up another win. Those are the runners I'll be keeping an eye out on our last race meeting for the year. And just on behalf of Cape Racing, we wish all our patrons out there a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And we can't wait to see you at the races for the upcoming race meetings. Of course, we only have a few races left as part of the Cape Summer Festival of Racing. And you do not want to miss out on these race meetings as they are stacked with class and will be a great day of racing ahead here this Saturday, the 31st of December.